Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre, is finally on the team. I was trying to get Tony Gwynn for a little bit now, man. I first started racking up innings play with Padres players uh, the Sunday before this past Sunday, so about a week and a half. I've been grinding out innings and conquests slash head-to-head -head games. And I finally got Tony Gwynn. Ichiro is also on the squad. And you saw that lineup update there too. Look at these stats, man. The guy can do it all. The, the contact. I mean, this guy's never going to strike out pretty much. The fielding stats are also amazing. Good arm strength. Good everything. I mean, the power is really the only thing he doesn't really have good. But man, put this guy in the number one or two spot. And he will be able to get it done. But yeah, you saw the squad. I think I mentioned in previous videos that Ozzy Smith, I am looking to get a replacement at short because I did not look at his stats before I was trying to get him. I took over the Cardinals stronghold and conquest and I was just like, uh, I was just wondering who I was going to get if I was going to grind out some innings with Cardinals players and stuff and Ozzy Smith. He has, he has really good fielding and he has really good speed, but man, the hitting stats are, are pretty damn bad. I mean, he has 60-something contact versus righties, I think, and his contact versus lefties is like 50-something. He has zero power. The guy is pretty much just a leadoff or number nine hitter, not really going to get the job done uh, hitting-wise, but man, I'm looking to get a new shortstop. And Tony Gwynn is coming to the plate very soon. But Ichiro with the signature move is stepping up to the plate first. Always looking to get something going with Ichiro right off the bat, man. I'm laying one down with the drag bunt. And that is just perfect, man. My goal was to lay down that bunt. Hopefully the first baseman would have ran over and got it. And that's just what happened. Tony Gwynn up to the plate. Had him batting in the number two spot right behind Ichiro. What better place than that right behind Ichiro. But man... My dumb ass strikes out with Tony Gwynn in his very first at-bat. Do not worry, though, because I do redeem myself in a very big way in his next at-bat. I was more focused on getting Ichiro to second base in that at-bat. Rather than focusing on the actual at-bat with Gwynn, I was focusing more on Ichiro at the dish, which was a huge bonehead mistake. But Donaldson stepping up to the plate next, driving one to center field, cashing in Ichiro. This guy didn't even attempt to throw home Ichiro with that nasty speed anyway probably would have scored flashback Prince Fielder up at the plate next man my number one two three and four spots absolute deadliness with uh, Ichiro Gwynn Josh Donaldson that's only a flashback Josh Donaldson though it's not the actual diamond Josh Donaldson but it's still like an 84 overall card he has he's been crushing home runs for me and here Russell Martin man the guy is usually clutch for me Needed to come through in the clutch right there, but grounds into the inning-ending double play. Almost ran it out at first base and was not able to. But yeah, that Josh Donaldson is only like an 84 overall. His stats aren't the best. I think I mentioned in the previous video that his card was really good. And that was a fail because his card really isn't that uh, amazing. Obviously, it's not as good as his diamond card or anything, but it's still a pretty decent card. I mean, he plays decent for me, man. He crushes home runs left right and center it seems like when I play you know just head-to-head -head games or conquest especially in conquest mode man the guy is just banging out dingers every single at bat pretty much for the most part but Mookie Betts making the final out and he is leading it off in this inning driving one to left field good solid contact from Mookie but unfortunately it is right at the left fielder Omar and Fonte this is also a flashback Omar and Fonte for the, uh, I think this is for when he played for the Braves. And this is also like an 84 overall card too. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent hitting stats and pretty decent fielding stats as well. But Ozzy Smith, man, I have no idea what I was thinking because usually every single time I'm up to the play with him, I just lay one down and try to get him to leg one out because, yeah, like I mentioned before, his contact, everything is pretty damn horrendous. I think he has a good bunt too. So I usually lay one down with him and try to get him to leg it out. And you, he usually does for the most part. If I uh, lay one down to the first baseman or second baseman, he does a good job of legging it out. And I don't know why I didn't lay one down there because every time I'm swinging with Ozzy Smith, he cannot get... I don't even think I've gotten a hit with Ozzy Smith yet. Like actually swinging the bat, not laying a bunt down. I don't even know. Ichiro back up to the plate, looking to get something going again after that drag bunt. But I'm grounding out to the second baseman. And the boys are looking to start a rally with Gwyn. Tony Gwynn.
is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea. Oh, hang on now. This ball is deep down the line in right. It looks to have the distance, and it's fair. A home run. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back-to-back -back home run. My dude, Tony Gwynn and Josh Donaldson going deep back-to-back. -back, looking to go back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back -to -back with Prince Fielder, but no. Shattered bat. A little blooper right to the catcher. How many times do you see that happen in this game, man? How many times you would never in one million years see that happen in real life and that always pisses me off when that happens because that's what I'd say. You would never in a trillion years see that happen in real life. But my pitcher, man, my pitcher was wheeling and dealing. I don't even know who it was. It was only a bronze player and I have, I have zero pitchers at the moment. I used to have King Felix, but I sold him unfortunately, which was kind of stupid, but I kind of had to because... I just needed to make some stubs in order to in order to get a flashback Prince Fielder and Ichiro. But I really have no pitchers at the moment. That is next on the agenda, is getting some aces because I really have nobody. Nobody in the bullpen. I used to have Fernando Rodney, but I had to feed him to my created player in Diamond Dynasty so I could get uh, Tony Gwynn, which was just today I think I got rid of Rodney. But I have nobody, man. I was thinking about getting a Roldis Chapman because he's not even going for that much in the market right now. But he's going for around 8000 I think. And I got a good amount of stubs still even after getting Tony Gwynn. And Ozzy Smith laying one down because, like I said, the guy can't, can't get it done when he is swinging. So I am laying one down 100%. And I was looking to steal. Talk about a fucking bonehead mistake. I am stealing before the pitcher even releases the ball. Terrible timing. I get thrown out trying to get back to first base. Each row not able to get anything going again. But yes, man, I was trying to go the distance with my guy on the mound. He was wheeling and dealing. He didn't have any good pitches or anything, really. I mean, he doesn't have good arm strength or anything like that. But luckily, this guy didn't have a stacked team because if he did, I probably would have been in... Huge amounts of trouble. This guy, I think he only had David Ortiz was probably the only household name he had on his team, if I remember correctly. And Tony Gwynn is back up to the plate. So I'm looking to go deep again, or at least just get a single, double, triple maybe. No, I'm just hitting a little dribbler to the third baseman. Almost running it out. Gwynn with the speed. Almost was able to leg that one out at first base, but wasn't able to. Prince Fielder going down on that nasty curveball, I think that was. And now we're in the seventh inning. And there wasn't that much offense going on after those back-to-back -back jacks in... I forget what inning it was. But yeah, after those back-to-back -back jacks, there wasn't that much offense going on. And I think this guy only had a boat. I think he only had one hit which was his leadoff guy, very first batter of the game, Jacoby Elliott. Yeah, he also had Jacoby Ellsbury too. So I guess Ellsbury and David Ortiz were really his only household name players, if I remember correctly. But yeah, he was only able to get a base hit in his very first at bat of the game. But after that, he only had one hit through about eight innings, I'm pretty sure. And here I'm just blooping it out to the right fielder. And Omar Infante back at the plate in the bottom of the seventh. Still two down, and I'm going down on K's again. So in the top of the eighth, I was thinking about getting somebody up in the bullpen. But as I mentioned, I really have nobody in the bullpen at all. So I was just sticking with my guy on the mound. He was wheeling and dealing still late in this game, getting the K. And Infante again bobbles it. Luckily gets the out because I would have been so pissed off, man. I don't even know how many games... I have lost because of errors and all that shit, but luckily he gets the out. This guy was not thinking about going for two on Ichiro, man. Ichiro would have gunned him down easily. This guy's getting a rally going with two down in the eighth. And no, he's... Look at that throw. I mean, it was a little off track, but still, look at that throw by Ichiro. And next to the plate, he still has two guys on. Ozzy Smith, I have no idea what this guy was doing. Why did he slide for that? I did not tell him to do that. He just did that on his own. I am in trouble with the bases juiced, but luckily I get the fly out in foul territory. Man, that was looking bad. The heart was racing. I was in panic mode for a second, 
And luckily, I was able to escape that inning. It was looking bad. That was all with two outs, too. And for some reason, I pinch hit for my pitcher. Josh Hamilton can't get the job done, man. Seems like I strike out with Hamilton every single time I pinch hit for somebody because that's usually who I go to. I need to start going to somebody else. And Ichiro can't get on base so unfortunately, Gwyn can't get to the plate for a fourth time. One for three with a clutch homer. That was the homer to take the lead. So if the game ends the way it does now, Gwyn's homer would have been the difference. I put the Submariner in because I don't know about you. I find that it's very, very difficult to hit guys that throw Submarine. I don't know if that's just me, but I find that that is the case. He is down to his last out, and a high fly ball in the right center field. Gwyn is looking to end the game, and he does just that. A very fitting ending in this game. Gwyn goes 1-4-3 with a very clutch home run.